right, so clap, and we're good. Excellent. Is it still recording? Yes. I don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable. Coming back at you again. Um, today, I want to talk about untwist and how it affects performance of Ethernet cable. Now, what I mean by untwist is Ethernet cable is called balanced twisted pair. Each of the pairs is twisted to electromagnetically cancel each wire out of the conductor pair. Without the twists being present in Ethernet cable, there is no way you could actually achieve one gigabit or 10 gigabit. In other words, the cable wouldn't work at all. It has to be twisted. Basically, that means the worst possible thing you could do to an Ethernet cable is untwist it at all, from its perspective, right? Uh, but of course, you have to untwist it a certain extent in order to terminate it. The question is, can you untwist it too much? And the answer is, yes, you can, and I can demonstrate it uh, with a Fluke DSX-8000, and then we can also talk about some of the practical issues you may see with an Ethernet switch and how that'll look um, in the real world, so to speak. Here we have a factory terminated patch cable. This is actually one of our prototype patch cables that True Cable will be carrying. Uh, these patch cables are terminated so that the uh, cable jacket is literally all the way above the golden contacts. The plugs are perfectly fit. There's a strain relief boot and these are already factory tested. So I'm going to show you uh, with a very tight test. It's called a patch cord test using PCA adapters for category six. And I'm going to show you uh, the performance of this cable and then we're going to go progressively worse on other cables to show you the, the difference of additional untwist and how that affects cable performance. So we'll go ahead and plug this guy in. When you hear the beeps, that just means that it knows the cable's plugged in. Okay, so we're going to test it. And that's a TIA patch cord. CAT6 test, and you need special CAT, uh, PCA adapters for this, by the way. It did pass, we got a green pass result. So um, this is a really good patch cord and it's one you would trust in your installation. This is terminated to the half inch specification. So untwist, uh, whether it's CAT5D, CAT6, CAT6A, even CAT8, uh, the half inch untwist is the maximum amount you may have. So let's see how that tests out on the fluke tester. Let's see what it does. Full pass, green. So believe it or not, I actually managed to make a patch cable that was better than a factory terminated one. That's rare. Um, terminating RJ45s on the solid copper ethernet is usually a losing battle. And there's lots of reasons for that that I won't get into for this video. So the cable jacket's going in. It's just making it to the strain latch, but it's not making it to this drop-off ledge right here. So we've got more than half an inch, but it's uh, actually, I've seen some terminations that uh, some of our customers have done in the field that look just like this. So let's see what the fluke says about it. And let's see what it does. Generating diagnostics. Ooh, okay, you hear that noise? <clears throat> All right, so if you use a Fluke DSX-8000 uh, in your job uh, and um, you hear that noise, you can develop a severe case of PTSD after hearing it repeatedly. Uh, so anyway, the cable failed. And so why did it fail? Well, it failed on the crosstalk parameter. So crosstalk got completely out of control just from the untwist being a mere one eighth inch out of specification at either plug. So that cable fails. So in this case, 
The cable jacket isn't even going into the plugs. It's got a three quarter inch untwist going from the back of the connector all over to the golden contacts. So let's see what the fluke says about this. The fluke will probably flash a screen telling me I'm nuts and what am I doing, but we'll see. What's gonna happen is it's gonna get progressively worse. So that demonstrates that as you go further on your untwist, it gets worse. Ooh, that's not good. All right, so there, there we go. The crosstalk uh, noise doubled. Now it's minus 10.4 dB on the crosstalk parameter, and that's because the untwist is out of specification at the connectors. So the cable could not maintain electromagnetic balance and the crosstalk got out of control. Let's talk about your typical ethernet switch. Each switch is different. Uh, they have all got different firmware, different ICs for the most part. And every ethernet switch out there is gonna do its level best to keep your link speed at one gigabit. It will drop down to 100 megabit in severe cases, or if like maybe you're literally one of your conductors isn't hooked up right. But interestingly enough, uh, if you plug in like even the worst case failed scenario I just showed you with a minus 10.4 dB result, um, it'll still achieve a one gigabit link speed on the switch uh, to another switch. Uh, even if you stress the connection, it'll still maintain it. It's gonna do everything it can to hang on and maintain that speed. What you will see is drop packets, but ethernet as a protocol and a technology is quite forgiving. So it's gonna maintain your gigabit line speed and it's just going to retransmit the bad or malformed packets. To see that in action, you'd actually have to hook in some cables, hook them into like a, a high-speed server, into a workstation, and then start shoveling really large files across and then actually watch for packet drops with a packet analyzer, and you'll see it there. Over social media, we've had a, some interesting and helpful comments. Uh, <clears throat> here, you can read them right here. Uh, they have kind of a uh, question, you know, well, why is Ethernet cable twisted at all? And can you hurt performance by untwisting it too much? And the answer is absolutely. Uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, you certainly can. Um, but it's just that a lot of people don't have this kind of technology to know where they're getting into trouble and where they're not. And they may not even be where they have an issue. So um, uh, hopefully you found this useful and a better explanation of untwist and why untwisting any ethernet cable is horrible for it. But of course you have to untwist it to a certain extent. So I'm gonna say, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. Leave some comments in the comment section for us. We'd love to get back to you. And I'm gonna say, you have a great day. Happy networking.